Hello everyone and welcome to the start of a new series on the channel and that is my infinite series. I checked out infinite as part of my discovery lineup for January and I was intrigued. I wanted to listen to more and this is why I'm starting the series diving into their discography. One thing though, it's always going to be reviews and not reactions. That's just because my number one thing is replay play value and the only way to find out out is by listening to the album multiple times and I cannot give you an accurate opinion on a first listen because I don't know if the song that I am obsessed with today is going to be the same one five, six days down the line. Reviews work best for me because I can now, I have time by by that point with the album. I personally feel it's around the third or fourth listen that I'm sure about what song is my favorite and everything that I think about the album. Now, I also going to ch I'm also going to check their discography in release order because I just love to see the journey that it takes um, the groups to get to the music that they are doing um, presently. You know, I uh, love seeing them fighting the sound, growing and skills, how that affects the music, the different eras, and just the journey that they go on with their music and their sound. Now, I like to focus on music first when I get to know an artist. So that's what I'm going to do with Infinite. Check out their entire discography first and then I'll go back for the visual, the stages and everything else. That's how I pick my biases. That's how I how fall in love with a group. It's the music. I think everything else is just an added bonus and I'd rather fall in love with the music and then check out the other stuff before checking out the other stuff and then checking out the music because every time I do things different I end up disappointed and just find out that I enjoy the visuals more than the actual music so I'd rather get to know an artist by the music and finding out if it's something that I am into or not. The album for today is In Spirit. Now this needed more songs. This I feel frustrated every time I listen to this album because it ends way too quickly. The album is really good which is also why I'm so frustrated. It's like you're having a great time and then it's over. I am not a fan of single albums, special albums, anything with less than six songs should be banned but I understand they serve their purpose but I dislike that so much especially when I really enjoy the project because it just makes me super upset to be into something and it ends way too quickly. This album is fantastic. I love the energy. I love the vocals. I love the vibe, the melody, the production, the beats. This is definitely a very memorable project. But this is also one where there is this one song and the rest. Like the other two songs are really nice. But there is a star, and the star is Can You Smile? Okay, 
이별을 마주했어 내겐 참 넘쳐서 네 안에서 잡아둘 순 없는 걸 And can you smile? 네가 원하잖아 네가 바라잖아 내 맘만으로는 널 잡을 수가 없는가 봐 험만하게 돋군다고 소화되며 격해진 밤 하늘에 별이 밝혀졌지 달이 비춰졌지 항시 갈 길같이 별들과 밤이 온다 다른 별이 가려질 뿐 The moon always be there I will always be here Want you, want you Oh, this song is just so amazing. It's so good. The rapping, the vocals, the guitar, the melody, the beat. Oh, it's fantastic. Like, what else would you want from a song? And it's the star. You can listen to this album a thousand times. I promise you, this is the one that stays with you. Now, um... What I really love about this album overall is the fact that even though it was released so long ago, it's still as amazing. And this 10, 20 years down the line will still be as fantastic as it is today. And what I love is that this is a timeless album. It doesn't feel old. It doesn't feel dated. It is perfect. I cannot wait to go on this journey and find out which album is going to end up being my favorite, which song is going to be my number one ever, who is going to end up being my bias. I am curious where this journey is going to take me. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite song, your favorite album, who's your bias or your bias line, and also what did you think about this album? Is this your favorite album ever by them? That's it for me today. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe.